December 20, 2004, five of six crew members of the fishing vessel Northern Edge died when their boat sank off of Nantucket in 8 to 10 foot seas and 30 degree weather with wind gusts of 45 knots. This resulted in the city of New Bedford starting a free safety training program provided to fishermen. Not only is it important to recognize and know the equipment that is in your life raft, it's equally important to know how to properly launch your life raft. As important to know how to launch your flares, it's equally important to know when to launch your flares and which type of flares to use in an emergency situation. One of your first steps in an emergency situation should be to activate your EPIRB immediately. After the life raft course, fishermen are taken to a pier area of SMAS and deploy smoke flares, ignite flares, and signal rockets. Each fisherman is provided fire retardant, heavy gloves, safety goggles for all hands-on activity. Familiarization of the Coast Guard's at-sea rescue procedures is provided by Air Station Cape Cod Jayhawk Hilo crews who demonstrate the use of their equipment and give the fishermen an opportunity to observe and ask questions. This process also puts a human face on the fishermen and the Coast Guard and contributes to a better understanding of each other's requirements during rescue operations. This training is held in a classroom setting. Trainees are shown a video demonstrating the do's and don'ts of pulling a crew member from the water. The training discusses the proper way to deploy a life-saving equipment and how the vessel should be navigated when there is a man overboard situation. Pressure. I, I just never know. Oh. Put your fingers in it. Probably is very few key files left.